Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan. This is Doris with a D. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk to you about Rumfish Grill, located in St. Pete Beach. In or on St. Pete Beach. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> so, how did you hear about this place, Chef? How did we hear about this? Okay. Um, we vacation a lot in that area. And um, I always take a look ahead of time where we're going to go eat and, you know, places we're going to review. Mm -hmm. And I kept seeing it, and it was very intriguing, and I knew that it was a better place. So I, I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of time to check it out. And um, they had a lot of interesting uh, things to the restaurant, which we'll get into later. But, um, yeah, on this on this last visit, we were staying in the, in the hotel mm -hmm. um, right next door. Yeah. So it was more than more than obvious that I was going to make a reservation. <laughs> so, um, what about uh, the the parking and and all that other good stuff? Okay, so yeah. we decided to walk over. Um, we got halfway there, and I had an air cast on, and it started to rain. Oh, I remember now. Yes. Yeah. So yes. we had to turn back around, go back to the room, get the keys, and go. But it really is walking distance because we've gone there since and oh, yeah. actually went through the whole uh, hotel there. Mm -hmm. But um, so, yeah. Yeah, so, but the rain was the thing and the, and the wind and all that. I remember it now. But um, why don't you tell them what your first impression was? Oh, my goodness. And seating. It was awesome. We walked <clears throat> in and the place was just huge. You know, uh, there was a coffee. Sh uh, there was a uh, a gift shop on when the you, right. When you first then, walk in, as a gift shop. Yeah. But that's that's <clears throat> nothing compared to what came next. I'm walking towards the hostess, and I'm looking up and around, and there is this huge, and I mean room huge, tank, a fish tank, filled with beautiful fish and stingray and all kinds of beautiful sea creatures couldn't believe it <laughs> I just couldn't believe it it was so beautiful and then there was this the beautiful seating and and the way that everything was laid out uh, you know the dishes and everything it was just absolutely right. a dream come true it was like a, a step up from all the places that we've been to I'm gonna have to interrupt her mm -hmm. and say it wasn't a fish tank <laughs> The people are going to think fishes. No. The just... entire wall and more of the restaurant yeah. Yeah. was a fish tank. We're going to get into the and more later on. The width of the, the room. Some of the fish were three <laughs> to four feet long. Okay, so not a fish tank. And, no. and certain days of the week at that resort, mm. you can snorkel in that tank with the fish. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. That was that was just really yeah, so it's bigger than fish tank. Amazing. <laughs> and he'll go into more detail later. Yeah. In the yeah, end. Yeah, we're gonna go into more detail right. later. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what about the menu options and the variety? Okay, menu options. It had good variety, I noticed that. Um, a lot of fish, and of course that's because you're on the west coast of Florida and they're on the Gulf. Mm -hmm. And if you're on the west coast of Florida, you should be eating seafood because, yeah, really. because of the availability, the pricing and the freshness, you really should be eating seafood and this is the place to do it for sure. <laughs> yeah. That just but, amazing. Um, but yeah, it, it's really, really, um, I don't want to say diverse, but there's a lot of fish and as she's going to tell you some of the stuff we ate. So you'll see what I mean about the, um, not diversity, but just the use of, of um, product. So, Oh, I like the sound of that. Why don't you hit them with what we had? Well, for our drinks, I had the strawberry mojito martini. And that's made with a coconut rum and vanilla vodka. And then, because, you know, we don't want to be plain. Um, it was infused with fresh pineapple, strawberries, mm -hmm. and mixed with fresh lime and mint. So it was absolutely exquisite. Yeah. And Chef Dan ordered the 1944 Mai Tai, the real deal. Yeah. Which is made with carupano 
Añejo rum, Myers rum, orange curacao, fresh squeezed lime, and orgot syrup. That's one of my top three Mai Tais. <laughs> one of my top three. One is, actually, two of them are in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. One of them is that. Yes. Um, yeah, top three. Top three. And for different reasons, so I can't pick a one. They were both excellent and good pours. How's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the flavoring. Yeah. Yes. Yes, delicious. I mean, that's, yeah. And then should I tell them about the appetizers? Hit the appetizers. Okay. Go ahead. So for our appetizer, mm -hmm. we had um, steamed mussels and cedar key clams with chorizo, pickled onion, sherry, Spanish olive oil, and lemon. I think we drank that, but that's another story. <laughs> we also had an order of jumbo golf shrimp, which is served with ponzu and cocktail sauce. Now, with the mussel and clam appetizer, in our initial review, I recommend ordering a side, another order of bread. Yes. Yes, because you're going to want to sop that up. That is, yeah, you're going to want to sop that up. Yeah. Yes, it is absolutely sure. excellent. Um, and, and it's rivaled by none. <laughs> uh, for, for my um, main meal. Oh, I'm going to get hungry now. Mm. Hit it. I had the adult <laughs> lobster mac and cheese, which is made with Caribbean lobster tail, smoked bacon, and Gruyere cheese. Tell them about it. You said it was crafted. It's crafty, Gruyere cheese, um, and just the mm. overall flavor, and I mean, <laughs> the smack the, the, uh, the Caribbean lobster tails. Those are they're sweeter. The Caribbean lobster is sweeter, Absolutely. so you got the sweetness of that contrasted with the Gruyere. It, it's a masterpiece. It's just delicious. <laughs> you know, I think I had that for breakfast too the next day. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> but, yeah, you did. Oh man, it is. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's not, nothing I hate more than when we go to some places they have lobster mac and cheese, and it's something that resembles craft, and it's got a lobster tail on top. Like boring, <laughs> boring, 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 and I'm talking some really expensive places too mm -hmm. that do that, mm -hmm. um, or no, the other ones with the, the gooey, ooey cheese that that no, this is adult. Yes, definitely, yeah. and 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 I felt so special. Yeah, I really did. Uh, I I felt like I was a cut above there for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely excellent. Um, you ordered the skillet blackened grouper. Yeah, which was prepared with the beluga lentils, beluga. lump crab, yep. and green onion emulsion. Now you see what I mean about the combination of ingredients on both of these dishes. Mm -hmm. You know this this is that's yeah 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 product fusion. Right. Well, a lot of places want to do a black and grouper over uh, grits. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. But this is like a step up. Yeah. You you described it as a cornucopia of flavor. It was. It was. <laughs> I mean, all those ingredients. It, oh. it was just amazing. I didn't know where to go with the fork. <laughs> and half the time I was going grabbing hers, too. <laughs> what about the flavor and the presentation? It Everything was beautifully, I mean, it, they were masterpieces on a plate. You, you can take a look at the pictures. Um, you know, as I know as yeah. we're talking, I'm the, putting the, them up over here so yeah. you can see them. The steamed clam with chorizo was um, absolutely amazing. Just everything was delicious. I mean, it's totally, totally worth it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's looking, I'm at looking at the at, I'm looking at the skillet blackened grouper right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we didn't have room for dessert. No, we did didn't we? have room for dessert. Wish we did, because I'm sure it would have been another adventure. Uh, maybe on another visit, we will do that. <laughs> but I really wish I had dressed up a little bit more for the occasion, though. Yeah, well, this place, um, as we spoke uh, when we were talking about doing the video, mm -hmm. is I mean, I haven't been all over St. Pete, but so far to me, this is like the diamond on St. Pete Beach. It's not your typical beach restaurant. And not that there's anything wrong with beach restaurants. No, no. We love them. I mean, no. I, I, I live for that. 
But mm -hmm. if you're in, if you live in that area and you have a special occasion, that's a great place to go. Um, if you're staying for a while, make sure you visit there one night. At you know, least, yeah. Great for date night. I mean, it. It's yeah. a step above. If you it, want to celebrate it, something special, right? It seriously is a step above. Mm -hmm. No, I can't on all that. levels. Like I said, the service, the drinks, the food. You know, some places they want to say, you know, hey, we have broiled lobsters, this and that. Yeah, it's good for you. The, this is the full package. <laughs> Absolutely. And now you said that you wanted to do something a little different and pivot. And um, oh yes, because normally we yeah. finish up with the overall impression. Right. Okay, so we have to give them a little more about the place. Yeah. So absolutely. Um, when you get there, you're gonna walk through a small gift shop. Um, the Rum Fresh Grill. So you'll see beautiful gift shop. A lot of local things that you'll need. Um, you know, yeah. t-shirts, uh, sunbathing stuff, yeah. uh, suntan lotion. Reasonably priced compared to what I've seen on the island. Yeah. Um, then straight ahead from there is a beautiful, I want to call it a lounge, but it is big. There's a lot of high tops, a full wall of liquor. Um, beautiful. Huge. Before you enter there, to the left and right, there's two fishing chairs which you can sit in and get pictures. You, know, you take your pictures and it has the name Rumfish Grill and all that stuff all around. So that's another part. <laughs> and then the next part is if you're facing the restaurant to the left, you'll see bathrooms, mm -hmm. not the bathrooms. Take the hallway down to the end. When you take the hallway down to the end, you're gonna end up in this little, like a dead end but to the left or to the right you're going to see the side of the fish tank mm -hmm. so you'll see the entire length of the fish tank and then when you look up you're going to see the fish over you and we were there we had um stingray over us you can see the whole bottom of the of the ray mm -hmm. um all yeah. all throughout that area they have little tidbits about the fish yes. that are in that tank yeah. you know it tells you i guess you know what they are how big yeah. they are right so as you approach you know what you're going to be seeing and and what they look like but that's like it's a nice. whole adventure beyond the meal yes. you know yes. it's it really... almost like going to an aquarium yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that nice. that's where i wanted to add a little something different than the overall impression mm -hmm. i can see why it's it's really nice do you yeah. have any recommendations um any uh comment on the cost um, cost, I guess, is in, in line with places like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not overly expensive, but it's not going to be cheap. Um, and it's uh, the quality. that You're paying for the quality, the service. Um, again, make it a date night, a special occasion. If you're there for a week, plan one night to be there. Yeah. You're, you're really going to love it. You know, you're it's really going to love it. It's very memorable, mm -hmm. especially the whole fish tank deal. That's like... <laughs> That's like over the top. <laughs> and yeah. if you're there with kids, oh my goodness. Yeah. They're yeah. going to just love it. Keep the kids out of the bar. Um, and out of the fish tank. Yeah, out of the fish tank too. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's a wrap? Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So as always, enjoy and we'll see you there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, check us out on St. Pete Happenings. Um, we partnered up, partnered up with Beachside Marketing, mm -hmm. and we're starting to post a lot on there. It's a Facebook page, I believe, yes. or a group, uh, St. Pete Happenings. So check it out, and you can find us everywhere. Uh, hashtag S-O-F-L-O Dining, all one word. Mm -hmm. So take care. Until then, we'll see you there. Bye. Bye.